Hi. I wanted to just share with you today some um, verses that I've been finding quite helpful recently and I've uh, been thinking about and praying about quite a lot. And it's just a few short verses from Colossians 3, um, verse 12. It says, Therefore, as God's chosen people, holy and dearly loved, clothe yourselves with compassion, kindness, humility, gentleness and patience. Bear with each other and forgive whatever grievances you may have against one another. Forgive as the Lord forgave you. And over all these virtues put on love, which binds them all together in perfect unity. And then goes on to speak about the peace of Christ ruling in our hearts. And um, I think there are times, aren't there, where for me certainly I, um, I forget that I am chosen. I forget that... Um, actually God made me um, he created me for this life this time this place for these roles that he's given me and um, for the people that are in my life um, and and I think sometimes I can feel like um, just like I'm not chosen and not dearly loved you know, people's attitudes towards me, perhaps, or my own self-talk can be, can feel quite negative and can feel like it kind of drags me down a bit. Um, so I've really been holding on to just mostly the first few bits of this verse, the, the bit where it talks about us being God's chosen people, holy and dearly loved. God has chosen us. God you know, I, I say this to the children all the time, before God created the world, he already had a day, a millennia, however long, just dreaming up you. He had time thinking up you and thinking that, that, that you are a great and wonderful idea and worthy of his time and investment and love. Um, and you only need to look at the cross, don't you, to see how precious God thinks we are. Um, Jesus went through so much for us to be able to to go, um, to have a relationship with God, to be able to enter into the kingdom of God, where we're meant to be, that place where we were created to be in close relationship with God. And so I just want to encourage you that you are chosen, that you are dearly loved, that, that there was no mistake when you were made. It's no mistake where you are now. God has chosen you. And whatever people say or however people act towards you, I want you to remember and I want me to remember that I am chosen and dearly loved. And I think, um, I mean, there's a particular particular circumstance which has kind of led me to focusing on this um, this verse. And and I think what he then goes on to say in verse 13, bear with each other and forgive whatever grievances you may have against one another. I think that feeds back into it for me. That 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 thing of, okay, so whether people might not communicate to me that I am. Um, chosen and dearly loved but I can forgive that that's that's what I'm called to do um, and I just need to fix my eyes on on Jesus and he says that again earlier in chapter 3 he says set your minds on things above not on earthly things for you died and your life is now hidden with Christ in God when Christ who is your life appears then you also will appear with him in glory what a promise let me pray. Jesus, I thank you for the incredible things you've done for us. I thank you that we are chosen, that we are holy because of you, because of your holiness, and that we are dearly, dearly loved. Lord, so often the world and other people and maybe the media just tell us that we're we're not who we're meant to be or 
we're not worthy of love and we're not <laughs> we're not we're not worthy of love but you love us you love us and when the creator of the universe delights in you that's no small thing that's precious and something that we should hold on to tightly so father i pray that you'd help us to to focus on you to set our minds on things above to remember our place in heaven with you and that that would give us confidence and boldness and grace and humility when we come across situations which tell us that we're not dearly loved, that we're not chosen. Remind us of your love daily, Lord. Amen.